Hello everyone, in this uh, video we will discuss how we can uh, configure announcement widget. This announcement uh, piece that you can see on the screen is basically uh, configuring a widget. So for that uh, we have to um, go to the channels and here for the work portal uh, we have to uh, go to the landing pages within the landing pages uh, we can see there are a uh, uh, few options so suppose we want to change it for the home then click uh, home and then on the right hand side you can see edit landing page home and within which you have uh, region a and region b so within region a this announcement widget is there so we have to click this gear icon to change the configuration so here you can see that um, I have changed the description to this is a demo project and uh, today's announcement is uh, etc. And uh, the link I have given to google.com and uh, what's new text that also I have changed. Now here you can see uh, the source is a uh, uh, data page. Now we have to open this data page. We have to go to Dev Studio. and we have to open that data page and there uh, you can see that uh, it is calling a data transform within that data transform we have this py level so basically this data page and the data transform this data transform and this data page are already there in Pega OOTB uh, uh, rules but the thing is that you have to copy it into your own project and then uh, you can change it so here I have just save as those then the data page and the data transform and I have changed the PY level to offer one and offer two we can put whatever uh, the details we want to give and that's it and we can configure the uh, announcement widget so if we go back here in the app studio so if we run it So under the home, uh, see the announcement is this is a demo project and today's announcement is related to the offers etc. And this is offer 1 and offer 2 which I have added in the data transfer. And learn how to configure the announcement widget. So you saw that I have given that google.com so it will open the google.com. So this is how we can configure the announcement widget. Thank you very much for watching the video.